Um, welcome. Thank you. It's very exciting to have you in the shop. You want to build a specific thing. What is it you want to build? Yes. So after the tape dispenser that we built last time, mm -hmm. I thought this time we should build an over-engineered bottle opener. Okay. So there's this trick that you can open one bottle with another bottle, and then if you whoop, hold on, and then if you kick the lower bottle, it, it shoots. Pops the other yeah, one up. Yeah. And okay. it makes this great sound, and the cap shoots up like right into the air. And I thought it would be nice to have a fixture for a party where you can have your bottle and then recreate that movement and have okay. this explosion. Does that make sense? That totally makes sense. <laughs> that totally makes sense. Um, is this a, are we going for efficiency or novelty? Novelty. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> that, that changes our engineering significantly. Um, so when you said you wanted to pop a bottle cap off, I first thought of a hammer and I broke out this hammer, but when I look at these bottles, what I notice is that they're at different heights and they all have different lips. That's true. Um, I, I actually think, I'm not sure, but I think in Germany they're all the same. They're all like this? Yeah, but I, I could be wrong though. So if we're going to do that, we kind of want to make it able to accommodate any bottle. Yeah. Um, hmm. So, well the bottle cap is always the same size. That's the bottle cap, yes, the only... that's the consistent thing. Um, so um, first, yeah. First, I think we need some sort of, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we need a registration for the back of the bottle, Yes. right? Yeah. So what that could be would be like from the top, so from the top it would be like that, right? Mm-hmm. And, oh, yeah. and then from the side, I think it would be like that, yeah. right? With the, with the hole cut out there. So it's a very, you know, it's like oh, it holds it. Ah, I understand. Right? Okay, so it holds it under the yeah, it holds it under the bottle cap. Yes, and like cradles it right there. So it's yeah. a really positive lock, and mm -hmm. that way you know. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I was trying to think about a way that a hammer could literally go <laughs> boom and top it off. But when I look at these lips, I think that's a recipe for just broken glass flying. Probably everywhere. yes. However, what if we had? What if the bottle? Okay, um, wait a second, wait a second. Wait right here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh -huh. Oh, I think I... You think you see what I'm thinking? Yeah. Uh, what I'm toying around with the idea of is, wait. <laughs> what I'm toying around with is something that sits here, mm -hmm. right, so that we make a thing that is exactly the right shape. So maybe it's like a, um, a thing that comes in. So you bring the bottle into the device and it sits there. Yeah. And then there's this part that comes in, it goes, mm -hmm. and the hammer hits that. Hits that, yeah. That is a good idea, I think. But the trick with that is whatever the hammer hits has to be on a linear track, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay, so hold on. I have. Let's see here. I mean, yeah. I have some. Li I have some linear actuators. Oh. Um, you know, so you oh, you yeah. could literally bring this. You know, you put a. This can handle a lot. Of, here, feel how how solid that is. Yeah. It's, oh wow. Right. It's got the the holes in it, so we could bring it up like this, you know, make a little lip for it to grab the bottle cap. Hmm. Maybe, you know, so what if, what if it had, what if this had a lip on it and a little spring? So that shoots up. Right. So it, it brings it right in. It's almost like a pinball machine, like the kickoff oh, from a pinball oh, machine. Yes, yes, yes. Wait, we don't need the, we don't need this. What we need is something that holds the bottle down here. Yeah. Right? Yes. And then this just, this is spring loaded. Yeah. Right? So we bring this in and you bring it in so it goes like this and now it's set and then the hammer goes doink and knocks it off. So it's a two, two part operation. It's a two stage operation. I you've like got that. A, you've got it. This is a spring. You yeah. bring it in, oink like this. And it's, you know, we have a. <laughs> Making a, a thing that holds the bottle is not, that's not that difficult. No, we can, probably not. I can use a little piece of like neoprene rubber, mm -hmm. you know, like yeah. a cup holder, yeah. so it just like holds it nicely. Mm -hmm. um, that's okay. great. Um, and let me see, I have a lot of linear actuators because 
They're really useful. Um, is this a bigger one? This one might be better because it's bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So it's going to be a little more robust. This is so nice. I know. Aren't these great? You can yes. get these on eBay. Really? Yeah. Oh, now I see how it works. Yeah, little reciprocating ball oh. bearings. Isn't that nice? Yeah, that looks like a, like a caterpillar or something yeah. you know, that, that moves. And you have to be careful because if you take it all the way off, the balls all fall out. Mm -hmm. That's why you have the little That's zip really ties. Bad. <laughs> That's really bad when they all fall out. Uh, That's why the, uh, yeah, the... Yeah. <sighs> okay. Great. So... Is this longer even? No, it's the same. And but you can chop that down. Yeah. Careful, don't let it come it, off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> um, okay, so uh, I think... I think... Um, there's three parts to this. There's a bottle holder, mm -hmm. there's this part, and then there's the hammer yeah. pop. Mm -hmm. um, I think that we got to do the bottle holder and this part first. Yes. It's, that's nice because we can literally pivot it right yeah. off of a, yeah. Yeah. a little clevis that we make out of aluminum. Um, I have a really specific idea of how to make the the little horn, it'll mm -hmm. knock off the bottle cap. Good. Um, I could make that and the, and the thing the hammer hits if you Great. wanna start on how to hold on to yes. the bottle. Yes, And I don't know if you prefer to work in wood or steel, but I have a welder and I have a ton of plywood. Let's see what we find. Okay. I'll take a look and then um, I need calipers to start with. So we have calipers. rough. Um, I have for you, oh, you'll love this. Ooh. This is awesome, I recently bought this. Is These calipers are both English and metric. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> so the red is metric and the two dials move at the same time. Oh, wow. Isn't that crazy? Yes. So uh, that's metric and that's uh, good. English. Cool, thank there you. you. Go. Great, so we can roughly estimate the diameter range. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's gonna go. I mean, it has to be. How you know what? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it, it doesn't need. Maybe it doesn't need uh, a super hard hold. That's what I'm trying to think. Like how? Maybe it's a hole with just like with three with like three almost rubber fins. Mm -hmm. That because I figure if this if this is if this sits there and the hammer hits it, that's going to go off and it's not going to tip you the think bottle the, over. The, the weight will hold it. Yeah, mm, I think so too. Yeah. Um, anyway, I have all sorts of different densities of foam. I have lots of different neoprene rubbers. Yeah. Um, I have come over here and take a look. I've got uh, rubber stuff here. All right. Thicker, all right. and I have some thinner stuff here. I have uh, some aluminum honeycomb. I've got Delrin, tons of plywood. Um, that's all sorts of foam. Yeah. Yeah. We, I'm sure I'll find something. Okay. Um, and then uh, what this thing sits on top, like what its base is, um, you know, anything here you want to utilize. Okay. However you want that to look. Great. I have some junk, I have some bigger chunks of ash here. Oh, nice. Uh, I have some nicer hardwoods that I've been collecting. And mm -hmm. down here too, there's some uh, nicer pieces of wood if you want to work with some. Great. Great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, actually, take this out. You might really like this. Ooh, is that like some kind of mahogany or? I can't remember. <laughs> I like it though. Yeah, I know, it's a nice chunk. <laughs> yeah, that might be perfect actually. <laughs> cool, so I will just make this nice okay. and. Um, I'm gonna start yeah. on the nerny that hits the bottle cap. Great. Okay. Cool, see you in a bit. Here we go. <laughs> making me really thirsty.
we're gonna put a lot of strain on this device by hitting it with a hammer, so I'm giving it a little bit of a rubber bumper so it doesn't uh, overstrain, as it were. There we go. Doink, doink, doink. Perfect. I love that tool. pretty good. Ooh! That was awesome! <laughs> it's totally clear that's meant for a beer bottle. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, did you use my stop? Yes. Awesome. It's good. <laughs> did you make that yourself? I did. That's I did. Nice. I took the original stop and I milled the channel out of it and made oh. this little cam lock. It's very handy. Yeah. Very handy. Sweet. Right. So, I like the wood block thing because <coughs> I, I think this will look really nice at the end. I agree. We, we can have a little sign on it. Well, we're gonna have some structure sticking out from there, mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, if you... Oh, I also made a little bumper here at the top. Oh! So when it hits, so obviously when it comes in, we'll set it like that. Uh-huh. And then when the hammer hits it, we don't want it to go to exactly. hurt itself. Exactly, exactly. <coughs> so. Nice. Sorry about the be dust. Some, oh God, that's fine. So maybe it's even that we want to set it up about like there, mm -hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. So maybe you want to think about a clevis that holds that. Yeah. Yeah. Too. Great. I. We can have some angle. I there. think once this comes in and sets, I don't know if we're really going to need something that holds the bottle here. But we'll see. I don't say. think so. I don't think. I think you're right, especially yeah. with this one because the fit is so nice. Yeah. But and we, I mean, we end up trying it with these because this comes in and is adjustable. We mm -hmm. kind of end up with a. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Okay, so, right, okay. One, one, two is three, eight, seven. That should be point seven, eight, three, center to center. One, let's see if that works. Point one, one, two. Oh, yeah, I got that wrong. Have you seen one of these? An optical center punch? No. I only just found out about them. So, you put this, let's see, let me light in. Oh. Here, look, look there. Oh, jeez. This is so precise. Isn't that nice? And then, once you've got it to where you want it, you pull that ah. out, you put that in, and give it a little and now you've got a nice, perfect sense. Isn't that awesome? It's yeah. genius. I know. It's oh. changing my life. <laughs> I'm, I decided I should be more precise. Yeah. 
I will wait a little bit until I see what you are working on because I wanted to have this made out of wood, but now this is obviously too long. But this will fit in here with a mm -hmm. screw from both sides so right. you can tighten yep. it. Yeah, all the way through. Yeah. yeah. And then for the placement, I will wait until yours is done so we know exactly where it should, so, where this should fit. Yeah, actually, so I think if you put this kind of maybe, you know, 15 millimeters in from the end. Okay. Um, about half an inch. Uh huh. That that's like totally, because what I'm gonna. Oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, right. I almost screwed up. Um, right. So if this guy sits like this, it's literally. Hmm. Mm. Oh, maybe I do that. Oh right, but you've got this. No, but I, I can like I can change. This was this was quick. Right. <laughs> Let's see here. So yeah, I think what I was thinking of what I was gonna do with this was to weld to weld something out to I was I got my directions all wrong. So I was thinking this, but I was wrong. So I weld this to this and I do it like mm -hmm. like this gets cut. Yeah. You know, like mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. And then that's the part that slides and meets the bottle. Yeah. Right? So it's just a nice little that doesn't. Yeah. That attaches to that. So nice. I'm going to give a rough cut to this mm -hmm. and then weld these two things together. Good. All right? Okay. Cool. Cool. And, but I think you could, I think right about there as a pivot is totally reasonable. Right. And like, I'll make this a little too long and we can shorten it quite easily. Okay. I'm sorry I didn't make that easier to see on camera. I just had a thing I needed to do. That's great. All right. That's gonna be hot. Look at you, you beautiful thing. Yes, perfect. You're gonna love this. This is gonna be really fun. <laughs> right. How's that one going? I think it's going well. Do you want um, to dowel it in or screw it? I have yeah. a bunch of wood screws too. Perfect. I thought I'd cover it with this piece of brass to nice. make it look nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I have then... thicker pieces of brass too if you want. Uh, over oh, yeah. here in the, yeah, whatever you need. Yeah. I have lots of I mean, different... this is more just, it's basically just for aesthetics to, to hide uh, this. Yeah. And also it will look nice. Do you have like these old brass screws too? I do. Uh, wood screws is box number 20 there. All right, perfect. Okay, so then there's, all right. I'm aware that you should not machine with end mills chucked into chucks. I know, but I'm milling Delrin. It's fine. Okay.
so cool. All right. About there. Ten thirty two. Okay, ten, ten twenty four, ten thirty two. So that one. Okay, so that goes there. And maybe this one goes here. Oh, it's not going to mount right there. It's going to mount off to the side. Oh, okay, that's fine. Right? So it's not going to be center. All right, okay, yeah. that's good. Ah, man, it was such a nice traction fit. And then I <laughs> filed and filed and filed. <laughs> and now it's not anymore. Yep. But it will be fine. Always like that. Yeah. All right, Laura. Here's where we're at. No. Okay, so, and this ah. is this is to be adjusted. Yeah. Right? That distance. But so this comes in here. Oh, my like God. That. And the hammer hits that. Yes, that is. And maybe the hammer hits that just, I mean, we, we can shape this to meet the face of the hammer. Exactly, yeah. But suffice to say. Nice. Yeah. So let's see. So Does that it... goes in there. And that comes in. Yeah, see that? Yeah. I think that's actually. No, okay, I have to. Well, well we can grind this up at the out, can mm -hmm. we? And then, uh, right, I got to put a spring in here. Mm -hmm. That's an easy thing to do. Oh my God. <laughs> We're making good progress. Yeah. All right. Okay, so, but I think I have to, because this is too, the angle is wrong, right? Well, I can adjust the angle. I can, um, it's actually, it's actually not bad. Try a different, well, they will be the same though. Yeah, go okay. ahead. Yeah, oh, that cool. should be fine. Cool, okay. and it's perfect, good. Cool. So the general thing is going to be about there, about, about, about the second hole. Okay. That's a little weak. I put two little steel pins in there. Oh. So to hold it oh. in. Oh. Yeah, that's better than a washer. It looks yeah, and much more elegant. A, um, you know, it's, it's just enough to hold it there. Yep. 
Good. Hold on. I've got, oh, you're going to love this. You're going to be very happy about this. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, perfect. Good. Nice. That's good. Could use a little oil, you know. It'll yeah. Wanna, it'll want to do its thing, but so we may want to have the adjustment screw, or maybe just a little like a stick that sticks up with a little thing that just holds there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, that That's just good. like keeps the any bottle. Any bottle's going to still have cylindric, cylindrical, cylindrical, <laughs> cylindrical. It's going to be cylindrical. I was going to say cylindricality. So I can make a little slot mm -hmm. and have a tinier piece that goes in there, mm -hmm. and then we have a screw that just... Yeah, or I don't even know if you okay. need a screw adjustment. It could just be that it's like, it sits like that. And so then this comes in. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Hold on. Can I try a test? Yes, please. All right, so if this is gonna come in like this, right? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. hold on, here we go. Yeah. Oh. Uh, almost, yeah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ah! So, and the wood is finished. And the wood is, yeah, right. We Coca, finish your wood with Coca Cola. Ah. It's going to need a hell of a hit. It's going to be a. Yeah. I mean, I will cover it all now so it's even. Yeah. <laughs> that looks like it's really, it looks like it's really centered there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think so too, right? Yeah. Shall we? Drill it in? I think we should. Yes. Commit. Commit! We're going to commit. commit. Yeah, this seems to be the right range. Yep, go for it. Okay, let's start with this one. Oh, that's good. Oh, you know what we can do? Here. We can make life a little easier. Oh, nice. Thank you. I think it's mostly the clamp, but... Um, Maybe I just drill the position and then drill the take position it off, and then yeah. put it on the drill press. Yeah, totally. And then, yeah. ready? Yep. Woohoo! So uh, our first test, we actually broke a bottle, and that's not really. Uh, good for drinking. <laughs> so now we realize that we can't just have the hammer smack this into the bottle. It needs to be going up. So we need to secure it. Once we get the, the bottle opener in place, it needs to be able to be locked in that position. That's what I'm working on next. And we are starting to attach this. We still have yet to build the hammer mechanism. Yo. Oh! <laughs> Rigid. This guy sits in here like this. Yeah. And you adjust it and tighten it down. Yeah. Oh, With, this okay, the slotted thing. Right. Yeah, right. 
what I'll do is I'll make the slot the top inch of this. Mm -hmm. And then do you want to make a block of wood? Mm -hmm. But that block of wood's got to be a certain height, right? I will wait with the block until you're finished with this and then okay. we can see exactly what it needs. I should be finished with this in a couple of minutes. Cool. Do we have a name for this? A name for it? Uh Let's get hammered. <laughs> right on. <laughs> is, that, is, that, is that enough? Otherwise, we can turn it up. Like, turn uh, it up. I can go, yeah, I think let's go higher. Mm -hmm. Let's go up to about there and uh, here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that mark looks, that looks exactly right, like where it is. You want to okay. mark it? Yes. Is that right? Yep. Here, I'll get this corner here. Nice, got a Delrin bushing in there. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> I think that's it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, bend this. Mm -hmm. then, we could also cut a slot so it sits inside the wood snugly and can't go anywhere. This is true. Yeah, I could machine a. Uh, Just on the. You have the. Yeah, let me um, let me slice that off, yeah. and then we'll see where we can get. That's a great idea, Laura. <sighs> yes, I have bandsaws at every station. Sue me. <laughs> It does look kind of cool, doesn't it? It does. It's, <laughs> it's starting to make me laugh. Oh, that's awesome. It actually behooves us. You know what? I don't. I think this is better than that mm -hmm. because it has to travel farther to get to that arc. Yeah. That arc. Oh, and we can still angle it here, right? And we don't even need to if it's hitting center. Oh, that's true. Right? It's kind of popping straight up. So, I mean, what we can do is we can clamp, we could try clamping that yeah. in and just give it a shot. Okay. Once, once this is in, yeah. once this is secured. Let oh, look at that, that's awesome. Um, so I need a small work, 632. Right? This, this speed feels very much like working in commercials. Yeah? Yep, this is exactly what it's like. I have some bullseye shellac, but that's it. I don't have any good wood oil. Well, shellac is good. Okay. It dries fast, yeah. too, so that's... Okay, good. Uh, oh, okay, cool. So we can put this bad boy in here. Oh, I'm so excited. Or maybe the, um, I didn't make, oh, is it deep enough, the hole? Good, mm -hmm. good, good, good. <sighs> okay, so. I get the bottle in here. We set this right to there. Clamp it down. <laughs> you wanna try? Shall I, shall I give it a test? Hold on. I'm gonna use a, 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 a 
similar okay. weighted hammer. I hold on to this. You ready? Yeah. Do it. Yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the sound! That was the best! <laughs> okay. Woo. Okay. Oh, we need to drink this. Oh, yeah, have a sip. Worship the. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes better, doesn't it? It does. It tastes <laughs> like effort. Okay. So. That was like. It, it was, was literally 15 minutes ago we knew we needed this. Yeah. That was well done. That was great. Okay, so now. Perfect. Good. Let's see here. It's This is the next stage. Oh, right. And it's. Um, we need another bottle. Put this in here, right here. And, right, so it's a different bottle and it's got a different persuasion, so we bring it in a little closer. And clamp it in. There it is. It's not pushing the bottle because it's locked. Yeah. So now the hammer, the hammer needs to go right. Okay, so, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Now, how the do we mark, do we cut that hole out? On your, um, Jake. Should be it. Cool. <sighs> okay, I didn't change anything, so this should be the same. Let's just try it. Good. So that's the first one. Okay. So it's very adjustable. It's a nice amount of adjustment. Okay, so uh, let's get a bottle in place. This one seems pretty classic. <laughs> har har. Locked. Okay, so then. We might need to hammer this, hammer this yeah. in. Hmm? Oh, whoops, there we go. I was like, wait a minute. Um, but we also might need to cut some off. So. You mean good. from the steel or from the wood? Uh -huh. Oh no, it looks like actually that's fine, isn't it? Yeah. You want me to grab a chisel and get s some of the wood or you think we can hammer it in? I think we should hammer it in. Good. I think a tight fit is exactly right. But let's make a mark mm -hmm. about where we're hammering it in. So, so mark the steel and mark the wood? Yeah. So I think that is actually exactly where it should go. Okay. Like that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now what we want to do is we want to screw that in. Mm -hmm. So we need a um, a wood screw. Yeah. Right. Yeah, with a cone. Yeah. Technically, we only really need one of these. Oh. All right. Now it's time for a real test fire. Now we also may need, <laughs> in order to transfer the, that that was nice. In order to transfer the energy, we may need to actually put this on a board that you can hold down. Yeah. But, 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 for the for time now, being, yeah. we can do this. Oh my God, that looks so good. It looks so good. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay. The maiden voyage. The Kampf bottle <laughs> opener <laughs> popping in three, two, one, go. Oh hey! my god! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! Give me a oh, that was amazing! Oh, the sound! <laughs> it was all the sound that you wanted out of this sound. thing. It is better than I imagined it to be, and it looks so nice. I counted it. You're gonna count it. Okay, here we go. Okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> It's perfect. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> That's so crazy. Can I drink it? <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. It makes you feel like you deserve it. I you know, know exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. It has so many different uh, parts to it. No, I know. It's, really, the high it's not low. over-engineered at all. No, <laughs> not at all. That's and the I, thing about it is that it's not over-engineered. I love that you can see like what we started with, you know? With like super fine, and then it's like the poof, the hammer. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> this end, doesn't like, move at all. <laughs> this can lock. Fang! <laughs> that was like... That was like less than four hours. Yeah. You're making a name for yourself. I am. <laughs> Dad jokes, there they are. You're welcome, everybody. Yeah. It's uh, charming. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what is it? It doesn't support itself. <laughs> well. Uh, do you want to cut a piece of uh, plywood to put underneath it? Yeah. Okay. Laura, that, that, so that was for real about six hours. Yeah. I, that is a very, very good use of six hours. That is a beautiful machine. I'm really glad you came here to make it. Oh man, I'm, I'm so thankful that I could do this. And I like, I mean, it looks awesome, right? <laughs> right, yeah, no, it's purpose built for something absurd, which yeah. is never not enjoyable to look at. I'm blown away, this is so nice. Shall we, uh, shall we fire it up one last time as the end? Yeah, All right. one last time. Do we have one more? Yeah, yeah. one more over there.